Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us today in a musical visit to Wales, featuring one of the great churches of this beautiful country, St. David's Cathedral. Today we feature music from the outstanding choir and organ of St. David's. Thank you for joining us. In the medieval kingdom of Dyfed, we find the largest church in Wales and the shrine of St. David, situated in the smallest city in the British Isles. Wales did not adopt St. David as its patron saint until the 18th century. The reputed date of his death, March 1st, was chosen as the day of a national festival. But very little is known about him for certain, except that he lived in the 6th century and probably died in 589. For many centuries, the tiny settlement of St. David's in Wales remained one of the most important and most visited sacred places in all of the British Isles.
The cathedral building itself, the largest and most impressive among its Welsh counterparts, sits in a hollow called Glen Rosen, through which runs the River Aline. It is believed by many that the cathedral was placed here to hide it from Viking raids because it cannot be seen from the sea. But the founding of the religious settlement dates back much farther than the time of the Norsemen. Nevertheless, St. David's was and continues to be a holy place of worship to locals and visitors from around the world. of St. David's Cathedral was built by Henry Willis in 1883 and had three manuals and 31 stops. It was rebuilt in 1953 when no significant tonal alterations were made, but the instrument was housed in a new case by the architect Albin Carreau. In 1998, the organ underwent a major restoration and was rebuilt by Harrison and Harrison of Durham between 1998 and 2000. Over the years, the organ has been used in worship and concert to bring glory to God.
centuries, the tiny settlement of St. David's in Wales remained one of the most important and most visited sacred places in all of the British Isles. Even the Norman overlord of the whole of Britain, William the Conqueror, came here to worship. Like its counterpart at Landa, St. David has also suffered the ravages of time and human folly.
From St. David's, we travel across the beautiful countryside to the capital of Wales, Cardiff. Cardiff has the unique distinction of being the youngest capital city in Europe, but its history dates back before 1091, when work was begun on the Cardiff Castle. A small settlement soon grew up in its shadow. At the start of the 19th century, Cardiff was still only a small village of only 1,500 people. The Industrial Revolution soon made Cardiff the largest coal exporting port in the world. At its peak, Cardiff exported over 13 million tons of coal to the far reaches of the globe. In 1905, Edward VII granted Cardiff city status, and in 1955, it was proclaimed the capital of Wales. Wales comes to an end. We will never forget the beauty of its towns and cities, its rolling countryside, and the wonder of tiny St. David's with its ancient cathedral.
is Diane Bish, and I would like to thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you a musical visit to Wales with music from the great St. David's Cathedral in St. David's, Wales. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. like to purchase today's program or any program in our library of over 400 videos and CDs from the great organs and historic churches of the world, please call 1-800-933-4822.